And this is the convict cichlid tank, where we also have a giant catfish, lake catfish. I'm trying to go really slowly so I don't spook them. You can see the front of the catfish and one of the convict cichlids. Convict cichlids can get bigger, prettier, and more full form than most people realize. The uh, gray kind of slowly starts turning into this fluorescent neon bluish purplish and the uh, fins become more elaborate. The body structure becomes more elaborate. They start to almost look like an ocean fish. See, the reason you don't see this too much in the stores is because it requires either a really huge tank, like this one, or a pond. Of course, the pond would be the fastest way, although we haven't had these guys in a pond for a while because they're just too aggressive. They didn't really do any damage when they were in there. It's just... We don't want to give them the opportunity. So, better safe than sorry. Because, um, even though we did try them in there once and they were okay and, you know, everything was, uh, not incidental at all. Um, it's just these things, especially when they're mating, can be, uh, extremely aggressive and, um, we just really don't want to risk anything getting hurt even though it's a huge pond. So even though it takes a little bit slower for them to get that huge in a tank, we've got this really big tank for them. Um, the females have uh, orange on the belly. Um, we got more males in here than females. See, like her right there. I mean, I can barely see it in this LCD. Hopefully, um, the recorded video is a bit better. But, um, you should be able to see the yellow, um, the yellowish orangish color on the bellies of the females. I'm trying to get some good close up shots, but, uh, they're making it difficult for me. The biggest female has the uh, has the clearest color, but uh, she's hiding back there now, making it really hard to try and get a decent shot. Okay, here she comes this way. Come on, show me that color. Uh, you can kind of see it in this LCD. Hopefully it's it's better when it records uh, directly to the video, but this little LCD screen, it's harder to see what's uh, actually being recorded or not. But these two were a pair. They're swimming together. They're a mated pair. I'm pretty sure there's two females in here, so there should be two mated pairs. The rest of them are males.
the males actually get the biggest and the prettiest which is why there's more males in here we really want to give them some you know room to swim and grow whereas the females are pretty much uh, just good for breeding that's about it um, I don't know if they're capable of getting as big um, the, fe the biggest female in here is definitely bigger than most males are usually but I don't know how much bigger she's gonna get or not all, all I've witnessed is that these, these males can get about as big as Oscars and, and really form out. That's, that's all I've witnessed. I, the females were always, um, a lot smaller than the males. So, I don't really know how big they can get. You know, we'll find out. <laughs> Just natural course of time, but... Uh, so far, I've seen the males get about as big as Oscars, so... Unfortunately, that one died. We only had one get that big. He kind of got sick and died. That happens sometimes. Damn shame. He was pretty. Oh, well. I'll make uh, more of these uh, videos as these things progress, but um, as you can see, even so far with this batch, we've had some pretty <clears throat> phenomenal successes with um, getting convict cichlids to be a lot better than they usually are. Because usually, usually they're more like this guy over here. This guy is more gray than anything, kind of runty. Fins are not full featured at all. And that's kind of the way they start. They start as a more generic looking fish. Uh, here's the other pair right here. See how this male here has started to uh, to form out more and he'll be getting better and better. There's the female. Next to him here, his mate. So they've allocated this as their nest. Whereas the other pair are using that little hidey hole over there. So uh, we got two pairs that are nesting and they're going to be laying eggs. Um, they, the one other pair already had uh, like a zillion frickin' babies, but um, I didn't have this camcorder at the time. That would have been really cool to get footage of that, but um, I'll have another chance. I'll definitely have another chance because uh, these guys are getting ready to breed. It's a pretty huge tank. I forgot if it was 100 gallons or 200 gallons or what the heck it is, but uh, pretty huge tank. Now, now here's the cat interested in the fish, as always.